Welcome to Badger Claw. Now, what you want to do is cup your hand like so, like you're giving water to your cat. And then fold your fingertips into the belly of your thumb like so. See that? Like this? There you go. Yeah, like that. Then you put your puckers up against the bruise of your knuckles and give it a good huff. And I'll give you a demonstration. Wonderful. Now, that there's what's called a pimpled loon. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Now, listen here, Sally. This one's a hooting screech owl. <laughs> Marvelous, Jesse. That was wonderful. What talent. Now, you want to use that one sparsely, because it's going to spook them other birds he's trying to get close up on, see? It's an intimidating bird, but it's a good one for beginners, see? Brilliant. Wonderful. Now, it takes practice, so don't you get down on yourself if you can't get it right away. We's kind of experts on birds, you see. We've been calling them since we was youngins. May I try one? Well, sure. Don't be shy now. Go ahead and give her a shot. All right, now. Let me you see. You fold your hands there. Oh, there you go. Well, here. not quite I, like that. I think it's something like this. Well, it was a bit crude, but you get the idea. Well, I think you got the general point across. That was the black-crested titmouse of eastern Pennsylvania, obviously. Obviously. Pretty fair effort, Sally. You got a real knack for chirping. Thank you. I won a yellow ribbon with that call. My brothers do a three-person turkey call routine that has twice brought them a blue ribbon. Turkeys is among the finest of all the meat birds. All right, now quiet. Quiet. Here they come. Now watch him. now. Watch him. See, the mama, she's going to lead her pups down to the pond, you see. And the mother is going to drift all innocent-like and meander on down there, too. And the antelopes, he's going to watch them. And both sides is going to stare at each other. And neither one is going to run just yet. And long as the antelopes keeps their danders, them wolves is just going to mosey on their way. And there won't be no fighting. Everybody's happy. Wow. Would you look at that? Now watch here. This and there's watching that baby antelope. And if it ain't gets too far from its mama, there's gonna be a fuss. See how they look at each other? What like there's respects betwixt them. See, the wolves, they ain't so interested in the antelope. But they killed them antelope's enemies, them coyotes. So them antelopes, they appreciate what the wolves does for them. Hmm, symbiosis. And see, there they go. And the antelopes go back a grazing. Like it weren't no thing. The wolf just a wandering off the other way, and there ain't no hollering to be had. Amazing. Can they smell us? Do they know we're here? Well, we's downwind, you see, but they's not interested in us neither. We ain't to their taste. Now, if it was just one of us and we was two astray into their tea rain, then they might make a meal of us just like that baby phone. But as it is, they just want to be left to themselves, so we just watch from a distance. Hmm. Gentlemen, what a splendid show this was to witness. I can't thank you enough for bringing me here on this excursion. A whole world, indifferent to our own, directly athwart it, yet unperceived by nearly all of domesticated man. But not you, and now not I. I feel as though something within me has been altered forever, fortified, pacificated, and here we are, with the sun setting behind the peaks. I'm so very glad to be here. Miss Sally? Yes, Lionel? How is it you've known how to do that tick call? At school. I was in a birder's club. Like the kind of clubs you starting in Badger Claw? Yes, I suppose. We had all sorts of clubs. Some I started, and some that had been around for generations. The birder's club, for example. Hmm. Miss Sally? Yes, Lionel? Where'd you get all of them apparatuses? I brought them with me. They're from my personal collection. You must be rich, huh? Listen to the wind rush across the grasses, and the birds serenading each other in wild splendor upon its streams. The coyotes rousing in the distance, 
calling to the wolves in tempestuous taunts. Let's repose and close our eyes and soak in the ambiance silently, shall we? Sure thing. I think Jesse's already asleeping.